The craziest thing about this song was that it came out in 1987. And it was another hit that was produced by the legendary Teddy Riley. Shout out to the Riley family and all the family members. If you're watching, shout out to you. Thank you for coming by. And if you viewer are not from the Riley family, that's all right. I'm glad you're here as well. And I'm glad that you came by. And I want to ask you before I get started to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like this type of content because I'm telling you right now, this is a bop. And I think breaking down different elements of this beat will definitely help producers learn more about music production and also fans of music to learn how the songs are put together. In this platform, I'm using the MPC Live, or actually the MPC One Retro Edition. I love that thing, and it's going to be fun. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you what I'm using, and that is the MPC Software. MPC software is basically a hybrid thing. You got the hardware, which is the controller and the software. So I'm going to be using a hardware controller and the software. So I hope that helps people understand because um, the number one question I get on these videos is what are you using? What is this? What is this tool? I'm using the MPC. All right. So the first step is we're going to create a, a eight bar, actually a four bar loop with some 808 drum sounds that I sampled myself from an 808 machine. Uh, actually, the Behringer RD the Behringer RD8. So we're gonna start with that and break it down. So let's dive right in. So first let's work on the drums. We're gonna add some claps and some bow. Add some toms. And the cowbell. So we got, we got the 808 cowbell right there, so let's add that in. And let's add some hi hats in there. One, two, one, two, three, and. In retrospect, that was an 808 kit that I did for this drum kit I'm getting ready to put out, and I've been working on this for a while, so bear with me on that. And I'm using the 808, but I'm also using reverb on the 808 so that we kind of get that room sound. Not quite using a gated reverb for this, but you can also use a gated reverb for that. So now let's add some chords. Before to lay down, let's add a bell from the Roland D50. We got drums. We got chords, we got a bell sound. Now we're gonna add the bass sound. Now this bass sound comes from my chemicals library season one and it's called the gangster bass.
And now, let's listen to the combined result. So that sounds good. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to play the B section. You could call it a B section, but basically where the chords change and you're going into the verse. That part, right? So what I'm going to do is let the beat keep running. And I'm going to add the parts one by one. As you can hear the beats going on, one of the cool tricks that I've kind of recently discovered to like do a, a drum break is to hit the record button on the drum track and overdub what's going on right here. Right there. So now that we have this going on, we're going to let that come back around. And let's come back to the top. As you can see, we, we've combined all the elements. We, we added the 808. We used some of the older Roland keyboards for some of the sounds. We used the Triton, but the Roland sounds really give you that older school sound um, that's popular and fits with that era. 808 is timeless. That's understood. And everything else came together really good. So if you like this type of content, let me know in the comments below. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and help me to grow this channel. And you know, hit that like button and let me know. Let, let me know if you like this type of content. If you like, if you don't like this, that's cool too. I'll try something else.
but it's up to you to tell me to grow this channel and it's up to you to give me the feedback to let me know what's going on i love to hear what you think about this see you in the next video